Welcome to Pure Aqua for the most advanced reverse osmosis, water treatment, and purification systems worldwide. We're at the world headquarters of Pure Aqua Income Production, completed the fabrication of several systems here going to the country of Japan for a drinking water application. We have uh, two reverse osmosis systems, skid mounted, um, where both are on one skid, a clean in place system for the membranes, and two post chlorination systems or recirculation systems. The capacity of the system is about 43,000 gallon, 43, gallons per day at a feed of around 500 ppm. So as mentioned, we have two RO systems, um, all skid mounted here. So what's shown on this side, or maybe we can ref refer to this as the left side, is the feed and backwash pumps and pre-treatment pre dosing systems. Um, we have you know, CRN 316 Grunfoss pumps that are, are feed and backwash pumps. They'll pressurize the water to about 50 to 60 PSI, where of course they'll provide the adequate feed pressure into the RO and backwash the filter as needed, the multimedia filter. On the pre-treatment side, we have a pre-chlorination, dechlorination, anti-scaling dosings, which are shown here. And in addition, we have a 36-inch multimedia filter that will remove suspended solid reduced turbidity and a small amounts of uh, metals. So for our 36-inch multimedia filter, this is a standard Pure Aqua product where we have a clack valve on the top um, to control the inlet and outlet, of course, and the backwash cycles. And this is all wired back into the PLC to initiate and shut down or resume operation of the RO depending on the status of the multimedia filter. Um, now moving on onto the RO feed side, we are injecting as mentioned dechlorination and anti scalant to you know, protect the membranes against fouling and residual chlorine. Um, from there, we have a static mixture of course to um, stir up all the chemicals and get them properly mixed before they feed into the RO. And from there, they feed into Pure Aqua's SSC-8, which houses our PA-205 um, cartridge, which is our five micron cartridges. Um, and from there, the water gets fed into a high pressure pump, which raises the pressure to about 100, 120 PSI. And from there, into some DuPont membranes, high quality membranes that will um, reduce the, the, the TDS down to about five PPM, which is far above the water quality the customer needs. So on the product side of the system, we, we have several dosing systems um, where you know, we're injecting chlorine, adjusting pH, and remineralization to get the, um, the water quality parameters just right where the customer wants them to balance pH and so on. Um, from there, of course, we measure conductivity, pH, and all flows. Now, all instrumentation is seamlessly monitored, or parameters are seamlessly monitored with a Pure Aqua PLC, which allows complete automation and flexibility in terms of controls of the unit. Um, and the beauty of this is both systems operate together or independent depending on how the customer wants it done. Um, and they can have these systems operating both in, in duty or in, in alternation depending on their need. This gives them flexibility for future demand increase or of course redundancy in, in on-site operation, be it components and so on. And just the peace of mind really of course. Again, this is going to the country of Japan We'll move over to our post chlorine systems and our CIP. Now, further on the post treatment side of the system, aside from all the injections to you know adjust the water quality, we have a very important part of the process, which is the post chlorination and recirculation systems. Um, one is for each train uh, um, for the ROs, where these will continuously maintain a 0.5 ppm in these storage tanks of residual chlorine. They'll recirculate the system, they'll recirculate the water and monitor the chlorine and pH as well. Um, so just kind of quickly going through the components, we have um, alternating recirculation pumps, you know, inlet and outlet isolation valves, check valves, a flow meter, and so on. And again, this is also monitored by a Pure Aqua PLC, which all the process, process parameters are seamlessly controlled here um, to allow very easy operation on site. Um, both identical units, the only difference is each one will operate for a, a different train. So as part of a preventative maintenance, of course, um, a CIP system is used 
to clean uh, the, the membranes in, in the RO system. This is a standard Pure Aqua CIP, where this is our CS8-1 series, and everything shown here is completely standard. We have PVC, Schedule 80 PVC piping, um, a, solute, a holding tank or a recirculation tank, um, stainless steel cartridge filter with Pure Aqua cartridges, and a relay-based control panel. Um, and this is, of course, only used as needed. We expect the customer would clean every year here, um, and this will give them a very long life um, for the membranes to ab about three years, if not more. Um, again, this is again, this. There's one CIP for both trains, as they can, of course, clean each train independently and as needed. So all that was discussed here is going to the country of Japan for a drinking water application, where Pure Aqua is taking the customer feed water, getting it to the water quality needed. Of course, with, through a series of processes here as shown, um, be it chemical injection, the auto membranes, and the post-chlorine systems we discussed. Again, this was delivered on time, all skid mounted, which was very tricky to do for our engineering department, but of course it was done correctly and it was all factory tested. So when this arrives on site, it is immediately started up and will be put in operation. Thank you. Thank you for choosing Pure Aqua as your primary supplier.